Hey, what's up, everybody? My last video was on this MacBook, and um, it was kind of a screencast of uh, the, the program I found called Evernote. And many of you probably have heard of it and used it long before I've, you know, I started using it. But um, well, I mean, in the past, I've had a problem where, you know, I, I have a problem trying to figure out where to store everything at okay like files and uh, links and um, uh, screenshots uh, just information pictures I mean granted of course you got your my documents folder you got uh, my pictures folder and all that junk but the problem is what if you're out and about you're out somewhere you're at work or something and you need access to those files of course there's other things like Dropbox um, you can send it in your email but what a hassle right Check this out. Evernote's pretty cool, I think. Um, I'm finding a pretty good use for it. I've been using it for a couple days now, and it's multi-platform. So I'm using it on the MacBook, I'm using it on uh, Windows 7. Uh, if I had Linux, I could use it on Linux, not with a client. Evernote has a client piece for the Windows uh, boxes and the, the Mac boxes, but uh, not Linux. But there's also a web version. So you just open it up in a browser, go to Evernote.com, sign in real quick. And boom, you got a, a web interface. Uh, looks almost exactly like the client interface you see here. Um, what Evernote does is, it's like a it's like a, a one location to store everything, all your thoughts for the days, all your notes, um, pictures, anything. Also, it works with both the iPhone, of course, and Windows Mobile phone. Um, I I don't have an iPhone, can't afford one yet, but uh, I got a Windows Mobile phone here, and I want to show you this. Um, okay. Basically, when I'm out and I'm driving and I'm thinking about something, I can send all everything. Basically, everything that you 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 save into this Evernote gets stored on Evernote servers for free. So these notes and these pictures and everything. If if I'm out and about, and uh, let's say here's here's Evernote here. Oh, that's just my last one. Okay, here's. Here's some current notes. I don't know if you can see that with the light on, but uh, I can scroll up, scroll down. But let's say, um, let me, uh, it's trying to load the image, which I, I accidentally hit. But let's say, okay, we want a new note. Okay, here's here's your options. Okay, you got text note, of course. You can just type some text in there. Ink note, so you can draw in there. Um, snapshot, which I'm going to show you. Audio note, so if you want to record your, your audio, your voice or something, uh, you can do that and upload files. So if you have a file on here you want to upload, you can just send that. Let's do a snapshot. Basically that's going to turn on the, the phone's camera and as you can see, okay, there's the camera looking at me, okay. Now let's just take a snapshot of that and let's do it right there. Okay, I just took a snapshot and now I'm going to send it right now oh you can type in some text like something about it but I'm not even going to do that I'm just going to hit done I have a terrible connection here at home with this phone but you can see it's uploading so right now it's uploading that, that picture I just took to Evernote where I have the client piece installed on the MacBook on the Windows 7 partition on the MacBook on my Windows 7 box here, on my Vista machine, yes, I know I'm still using Vista at work, but there's reasons for that. I got backup servers and stuff running, but anyways. So now, and on the web, so now I can go, I'm going to I'm gonna just click sync. It automatically syncs. You could, with Windows, you can automatically sync them uh, every 15 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, or something like that. On the Macs, you can even go down as far as five minutes to sync it. Okay, I just synced it and here's the here's the shot. Let me double click it and open it. It's kind of kind of a bad shot cuz it's flipped, but you can edit that and, and flip it or I can next time take the picture properly that way or whatever. But anyways, there it is. So now I can that's there I can bring it up on here. I can go to my work. It's right there. I can uh I can go on a Linux machine, a library computer. I mean, who uses a library? I don't know. But anyways, you can go anywhere and bring up this file. Now, what's cool about it is you can tag it. I'd like to show you, uh, but I'm, I'm going to do another video on tagging and more in-depth screencasts. I'm just kind of, 
I just want to talk about it a little bit and, and the uses I found for it. But here's another good use that, I mean, will help for us. Grocery shopping, right? Okay. Throughout the week, I've been writing down some stuff I've been thinking about. I want to buy at the store, you know, fish, this and that, whatever. Um, so I've been just going into Evernote. And let me just search for it real quick. Shopping. Oh, I got to go to All Notes. Go shopping. You can create notebooks and store things individually in notebooks. Or you can just keep them all in one folder and just create tags and just search by the tags. But here's my shopping list. I can bring that up on my phone. So if we're out shopping, we're like, oh, let's go to the grocery store. Okay, I got my list. It's right here. It's it's all updated and everything. Or I can update it through the phone, too, if I wanted to. But a cool thing, too, another cool thing is when you take screenshots, like let's say you want to take a screenshot of this or a business card of some sort. Let's just say this. I can take a screenshot of that with my phone or with the, the camera here. In fact, let me show you. Uh, let's, let's go Evernote. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna bring up Evernote, and here with the Mac, you got an eyesight note option. So if I press that, it's gonna enable or engage that. So there, I can take a snapshot of that, and then when that gets saved, what's cool is whenever something like this gets sent up to Evernote servers, it will it will um, index it. So you can then search. Up in your little search bar up on the top, you can search for, you know, uh, the, the, the name or whatever, any word that's on there. It, it has a really good recognition uh, software. So, you know, after you sync it up a couple times, you'll get the index version and you'll be able to search for anything that's in that picture, which is kind of cool. I, I think it's, that's, that's a big plus. So, for example, I have like a screenshot here of, uh, let me bring that over. I have a screenshot of Ninja Warrior. It's a screenshot of their logo or some logo or something. So if I just type ninja right there, there it is. Uh, you probably can't see it very well, but let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe. Oh, I forget. I'm used to the Linux box. Um, you can zoom in, and there's your ninja. Okay. I mean, it, it found that word, and it'll it'll actually highlight the word too. Um, throughout all your documents but uh, that's just a real quick little thing that's I found it very useful I like the fact that I can be anywhere I can go um, to work or anywhere and get to all my my important stuff you can save like you can encrypt uh, text files in there so if you have passwords you want to save um, you know you, you can do that you can um, I don't know I just think it's pretty cool so so far I'm liking it um, the Mac version is really sweet, the way everything operates and works. Uh, the Windows Windows one works nice too. It's just uh, it doesn't have all the fancy moving around stuff. But granted, you know what gets the job done. So they both do. Well, anyways, hopefully that helps. Try Evernote. It's free. Also, jump in our chat. There's always people. Right now, there's there's uh, three people chatting about uh, uh, Mac CPUs and uh, I don't know. All kinds of other stuff so come come check it out join up if you have questions you want to share your your tech experiences or whatever or just plain old hang out come on down pcaddicts.com see you there <laughs>